I can hear you. Hello. Okay. Hello. Yes, I, uh, I unplugged my headset to plug in a USB drive earlier this week. That will do it every single time. And and when I did that, I remember thinking to myself, make sure you plug <laughs> that back in. So when 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 Patrick calls, he's not talking to dead air. That's okay. And of course, it, I forgot. It happens. It happens. Uh, greetings from rainy North Florida. It is storming out right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, it just it just rolled in about ten minutes ago, of course, right before recording. Because why not have the looming threat of a power outage right in the middle of a fine evening of gaming? You know, it's what we come to expect. Uh, how you doing? Good, good, good. good. You ready for a, a jam packed evening of uh, uh, paradigm shifting, regal attacks? And and are you ready for fun tonight? Well, I, I, I'm. I guess so. I'm ready for a paradigm shift. Uh, we period. are. I don't know. I don't know if you looked ahead, but I did uh, not. Oh, good. Well, then I have got a, a story for you tonight. We are looking at this. Is the Granicus River? It's the obviously a straightaway in the Granicus River at this scale. But this is a this is a great story tonight. This is 334 BC. And this is immediately after our young whippersnapper master Alexander has succeeded to the throne of Macedon after, sadly, Philip II is no more. So this is our first ever scenario with Alexander, soon to be Alexander the Great, but this is, this is his trial by fire. So this is Alexander the Average? This is Alexander the... Eh, may may ought to be one day possibly, yeah. But they, uh, the, the, the Alexander got some potential. Yeah, that's really long for a business card, but uh, he's he's going to prove himself tonight. And uh, going back to the the television show that I'm watching on Netflix right now that I'm obsessed with, and I recommend to anybody else out there watch. I'm going to liken this story to a little thing I call Cobra Kai. Yes, that's right. We're gonna we're gonna tie this into Cobra Kai, because there's a central tenet in the dojo of Cobra Kai, and I think it reflects very well with this scenario tonight. Um, so the the background to this is that uh, as soon as Philip passes away, and the throne passes on to Alexander, all of the the fiefdoms, all of the smaller city states that were under the thumb of of Philip II, realized that hey, now's our chance. We can we can cause our own problems and be upstarts, and maybe we can be in charge. And the Persians also realized that now's a good chance to reassert some of our perhaps dominance. And uh, there's you know the Alexander, the maybe Otta could be one day possibly. Eh, he's not going to do anything. So Alexander, with his advisors, his military tactical advisors and and, uh, tutors that have brought him up into this power, they have advised that uh, he needs to take on Asia, and that is what he's going to do. So this is his first foray into Asia Minor. He has crossed over at uh, Hellespont, and, uh, and Persia has realized that Maybe they've waited a little too long to nip this in the bud. And they have now raced together to, to meet the Macedonian force. And this is something like you know, 32,000 infantry and 5,100 cavalry that, that Alexander has brought all the way from Macedonia onto Asia Minor. And the Persians, under Darius, realize that uh, he's got to be stopped before he goes too far. And that will serve two purposes. One, it will stop the Macedonian threat, but perhaps also they can they can kill the young Alexander and and make their own claims for regional dominance. And in this scenario tonight, what we see is essentially what was set up. We've got Alexander uh, and all of his companions. Those are the elite Macedonian cavalry. They are on the the right wing, and his other general, Parmenio, or Parmenian, depending on where you uh, look it up, uh, they packed the whole left flank there for the Macedonians with uh, heavy hoplites, uh, you know, some of their elite hoplite phalanxes, and um, a a good cavalry assortment there on the left flank. Uh, 
So he's going to uh, control the left side. Alexander and the companions are going to control the right. And then on the Persian side, we have uh, an interesting assortment of uh, yeah, lackluster leadership is what we're going to call them. Um, the, the term for the Persian term for generals is satraps. So we see the three satraps here tonight. And we have, uh, moving left to right, we have Mithridates, we have Rosaceous, and Spithridates. I think I've massacred those, but, uh, you know, those probably a pretty good approximation. And they decided, well, we'll use the river to our advantage. They'll have to ford the river, so we're going to put all of our cavalry right up front, as we see here. And we've got some, some uh, phalanxes. They've got their own medium infantry right there in the center. So they put all of that up front, and they decide to meet them at the river. And they'll just leave everybody else in the back. And, and now the numbers for the Persians range, depending on who you ask, anywhere from you know five to twenty thousand infantry and you know five hundred to two thousand cavalry. Again, those numbers are very fluid from different historical accounts. But uh, in this case, they decide to leave all the bulk of their forces to the back, and they say we could take on this young whippersnapper as soon as he crosses the river. And that's exactly where we set it up here tonight. Um, Historically, the way the battle went, and this is where I liken it back to Cobra Kai, the three central tenets of the Cobra Kai do dojo are strike first, and in this case, Parmenio was sent forth. Uh, he sent the left wing forward across the river with a cavalry sort of feint, and they, they were met with good resistance, and they were repulsed. So the strike first didn't necessarily work, but it, it started the battle. And this is after about three days of waiting. Uh, and then the second tenet there is strike hard. And that's where Alexander and the companions and the bulk of his forces cross the river on the right side. And, um, and also in coordination with some of the, the center forces with Parmenio. I don't know if you just heard that, that but that's good thunder. And uh, we're, we're going to, we're on, we're Biden time here. <laughs> we're on borrowed time. Um, so yes, then they, they cross the, the river in force and engage all the cavalry and the infantry immediately on the other side of the river and it just becomes it becomes a donny brook it's a it's a it's a knuckle duster it's it's a knockdown drag out fight right there with horse a slobber knocker, a, a, a slobber knocker. yes as uh, as john madden would say a slobber knocker's right here that's exactly what's going on um and in in interesting accounts we have not one, but two attempts, uh, or three attempts, depending on some historical accounts, on Alexander's life directly. There are some accounts that say, uh, in the heat of the battle, that Mithridates came up and stabs or throws his javelin and punctures Alexander. And uh, and he he shrugs it off. I don't know if it just didn't get... It, get through his uh, his armor or what but he manages to not be affected and he continues the fight and then rosaceous uh, attempts to strike and cleaves Alexander's helmet in twain knocking it off his head with an axe and yet still he continues on he manages to to counterattack and kills rosaceous uh, in just that way and while that attention is being paid to that little combat with Rosaceous. Uh, Spithridates supposedly comes up from behind and attempts to slay Alexander. And he is saved by, yes, your friend and mine, Clytus. Clytus, who was the military guard for Alexander, saves him by swinging his sword and literally cutting Spithridates' arm off in mid uh, in mid swing, so uh, there's probably a little bit of uh, embellishment on some of that because it's hey three generals all attacking Alexander in succession and yet all of them killed, but it makes for a really good story. Uh, and with that, because of the the leadership all being killed in quick succession. Uh, it, it turns into a bloody rout. The rest of the Persian forces realize we have no command and control, and they scatter in terror, and the battle is lost. That's how it went historically. Um, and from that, we see that Alexander becomes the, well, Alexander the, 
yeah, this kid's going places. And uh, we have quite the pitched battle here tonight with a river. Oh, and that was uh, leading to the third part. During that uh, that fleeing, when it goes into hand-to-hand combat, the third tenet of Cobra Kai is no mercy. Uh, they got into... Uh, they chased down those forces and slew most of them with no quarter given um, and attempted to wipe them out utterly and completely. And thus ends the Persian counterbalance to the Macedonian incursion to Asia Minor. Pretty good story, huh? Okay. Yeah. Let's look at the Council of War here tonight. We have special units. We've got a, a terrain feature. Uh, I will be starting with the Macedonians, of course, uh, on the top. And uh, I will get six command cards, and I will be moving first to simulate that initial possible feint. And uh, you will have the Persians. You have three leaders and four command cards. This is a six-banner fight. And um, so let's talk about those special units. We have... The uh, first of all, we have the companion cavalry. Well, even before that. So, because of his superior leadership and awe-inspiring bravado, we have the the Alexander Block himself. And whenever he is attached with a unit, that unit will battle with one extra die in close combat due to uh, you know inspiring leadership. Uh, we have the Greek companion cavalry that he is with right now. Those are the elites, and they will ignore a sword in close combat and ignore one flag, whether Alexander is there or not. So, of course, with with them right now, they are fighting at four dice because he is giving one extra. Uh, and then the Persians, of course, not only are they card deprived with four cards, they have poor leadership, meaning that their uh, in their leadership. A bonus only pertains to the forces that they are directly attached to. So adjacent forces do not get the benefit of the leader bonus. Let's see, a satrap leader will, however, normally bolster morale uh, to the unit which he's attached, as you would expect. Um, so yes, just no leader bonus for adjacent units. So that's gonna that's gonna be a little bit of a hamstring, a challenge, if you will because of that, so that would be interesting to see how you can kind of counteract that. Thoughts? Well, I mean, yeah, the other thing here is that leadership command cards will only order the unit to which a leader is attached. Exactly. And, uh, so so there's a, a raft of cards in, in the deck that are going to be duds for, for the Persians and the Three Stooges here. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Why I ought to... <laughs> uh, yes, so... Uh, have fun with that. <laughs> uh, and let's review the uh, the fording of the river rules just as because uh, it's been a little while. Uh, they it's they are passable, of course. The entire river, you can see that there's little shallow areas in every one of those. Um, you stop as soon as you enter, but you can of course make a momentum advance across if applicable and units battle into or out of a river hex with a maximum of two dice and of course like anything else that can be modified by cards and ranged attacks uh, out of a river are limited to a single die and it does not block line of sight uh, I'm sure I will mess that up and hopefully you will remind me because that's that's a, the key feature of this entire battle is possibly getting across that river uh, so, I think, I think that's it. I think we're ready to go. Um, anything for the good of the order before we get started? Uh, nope. Let's, uh, let's see what happens here. All right. After last week, that was, uh, let's see if I can ride this hot streak. Uh, <laughs> All right. So I'm going to grab my six cards. You had a great kid, game, kid, but don't uh, get caught. Yeah, yeah. Fear does not exist in this dojo. Where to start? I will order some light troops and see what we can do with them. So with six command 
And six light troops. You are well positioned. This is true. And... Yeah. That works. And then we'll just do a bunch of flinging of the arrows. Uh, we'll start with a light bow down here against your light cavalry. And they did not move, so they will get two dice. Here goes our first shot. And we do score a retreat. Ptolemy's auxilia here. They did not move. They will throw two dice at Mithridates. Let's see what they get. Uh, sadly, no hits. Now we'll continue with this other auxilia. Same target, one die. Nothing. And uh, let's do one against the heavy cav. One die. Nothing. And then finally, let's see if we can scare the light cavalry. Whoops. It's your target. Okay. One die for that. And got a hit. And that is all for that. Make a coordinated attack. Ordering those three units. Okay. And I'm done. All right. Well done, sir. Might as well. Since we got this, we'll use it. Activate my three medium units. Go there. There. And into the river. Parmenio has sent forth the cavalry to engage your lights. And I will get a maximum of two dice out of there if I... Double check that, yes. Battle out of a river with two dice. Okay. Would you like to evade? I'll stand. Okay. So here we go. Two dice. Not a sausage. And come back at you with two dice. Mm, nice. Send your packet. So one, two, three. Okay. That's historically accurate. Repulsed! That is all for me. We begin all of our <laughs> we begin all of our maneuvering. Do a line command. Activate these five. Come right up to the riverside. All right, so we do have a couple of eligible to fire with one die. Let's see if we can scare the lights away. Nope. And this one, one die. With a hit. Okay. All right. That is all. Three on the left. That was three. Do leadership any section. The leader's hex and three adjacent linked hexes. Yes. We'll do those three. We'll enter the river. Okay. All 
Right. Um, so let's let's clarify. You when you're attacking out of the river, you're rolling a maximum of two. That is correct. But am I rolling two when I retaliate against yes, you? Yes, because you're attacking me into the river. So into or out of the river, two dice. Okay. Yep. So the great equalizer. Uh, we will start with we'll start with these guys first. Okay. So two dice plus leader bonus, and we score a retreat, which you may, of course, ignore. Ah, nicely done. Okay, okay. Well, that ends that. Fire one arrow at a uh, Parmenio and his hoplites. We shall ignore that. Okay. <laughs> I see one of the Duke boys has arrived. Mm. Yes. Okay. We'll activate medium troops. And we'll do these three. So we'll go one, two, three, and bring those guys up. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right, so we'll start with the mediums against Spithridates. Uh, four dice plus leader bonus. Two hits, two retreats. She can ignore one. Okay. And mm, that is all. That is all. Okay. The battle commences. Start over here. Our heavy cavalry will attempt to run down your medium half lights. All right. So this will give them uh, four dice. Mm hmm. Two hits. And a retreat, which they will ignore. We'll give back four dice, plus leader bonus. Uh, three hits. Sending the horses to meet their maker. That's unfortunate. Alright. Pressing the attack against the same unit. Four dice. Whoop, leader bonus. Oh, there you go. Press the attack. Two dice attack it into the river with leader bonus. Ooh, nice. All right, go ahead and take a leader shot. Okay, and we'll give you uh, two dice back with leader bonus. Uh, just a leader. And here is the leader check. He's okay. Okay. Down here. Rochase. Rochase. Yeah. Let's see. What are the companion? Ignore one sword and one flag. Okay. So, four dice. Okay. So, I'm going to, take, to ignore that sword, so you'll take two hits. Two hits, right. Hit, hit. Go ahead for a leader check. Or 
Alright, and they will now battle Our back. First attempt on Alexander. Yes. Failed. And we'll take so, uh, four dice oh, back. There's Rojo, he took his shot. <laughs> Failed. One down. Yep. Alright, four dice back, leader bonus. Uh, uh, two hits and a retreat. Two hits and a retreat. Uh, I think I'll stay. Okay, here's the leader check. He's all right. And medium cavalry will try and finish off of the companions. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Three dice with leader bonus. So okay. we to ignore the sword. Right, but, but not, not the triangle. Well, so much for the companions. All right. Unseated from his horse, he uh, go ahead and take the leader check of one die. He's okay. okay, so that's second shot. Two and three. He will fall back that far. Okay. Nicely done. Thank you. It's going to come out of your ass now, by the way. <laughs> you slew his horses. Okay. So, uh, we're going to advance one. Move one. Can you battle on the turn you go into a river? Uh, a stop can still... Yes, may still battle, right? And I'm going to attack the heavy top lights from the river. Right. Oh, he left. I would have asked, I would have asked Steve, but okay. Guess he would have told us if we got, we're got. we getting it wrong, I'm sure. <laughs> we'll find out. Oh, we'll wow. find out. And we'll find out. <laughs> okay. Um, two dice. Wolf leader bonus. Oh! Green does not mean go in this case. No, it does not. Alright, two dice back with leader bonus. A hit and a retreat. Uh, I'll take the retreat. Okay. Take the hit. Mm -hmm. here's, uh, here's your check. One. He's okay. Alright, I think I'm good. Okay. Three in the center. Mm. Marching down the river. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right, so Alexander... Attacks. So, Mithridates had his shot. Uh-huh. Leish had his shot. And yeah. here comes shot number three. All right. First strike. Only two dice going in the river with leader bonus. Uh, You can't ignore the sword that time. So. Uh, I can. I cannot, no. So, take the hit. And uh, we're going to get... Okay. All right, two dice plus one for his bonus, so three dice coming out of the river. So there you go. Here's a here's a Spithridates alone. He's okay. Uh, uh, where are you going, buddy? One, two, three. Okay, Alexander will advance and go after the other person that has swung at him. Okay, so now here come your six dice. Six dice with leader bonus. Even, mm. It even sounds ominous when I say it. Here we go. In retrospect, perhaps I should have saved that for a strike card for this inevitable follow-up attack. That's all right. Oh, yeah, that was... Okay. Okay, and here's one die. Leader check. He is okay. All right. That will end our incursion across the river. There you go.
do a mounted charge. Just the one here. Now you've got a light cavalry across the river. Yeah, but he's got to stop, so there's no point. You get him going. Eh, eh, nah, nah, I'm good. I'm All good. Right. Throw so, me in. Four, four dice against that lone light cavalry. That's right. I'm sure you are hoping to uh, take out and get that follow-up hit. Maybe. One additional die during the entire turn. I see your fights. I know what you're doing. Yeah, of course you so. do. Yeah, all right. Uh, here we go. Four dice. Trying to get two. One go. Oh, you got it. Got it. Uh, advance. Take a hex. Battle again. Okay, let's we'll see if we can get a similar roll there. Yeah, maybe. Uh, four dice on these guys. Uh, one hit. One hit and a retreat, but I am actually supported yep. in this configuration. So I'll take that hit and come back at you with three dice. And take down one okay. of your squares. All right. That is all. Well, I'm going to do something foolish. Fresh holes. Mm. Got to go all in. Yeah, two against one's never a bad thing. Knowing that the first strike card is out of play, this is the probably the, my my best shot before you get rolling in there with six dice of fluoro. So. Three dice with leader bonus. Here we go. Ooh. Almost. Almost. You have three units. Oh. Board three hits. Uh, well done. Boom. 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 You were too quiet on that. I should I should have anticipated that, that was a, a better hit than you expected. I did not want to gloat. Yeah, 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 you do. Yeah, we we're we're far enough along. We can gloat a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Shot number four. Okay. Alexander lives. Uh, so this is a retreat. So that does not count for movement. So evade. Yeah. Technically, An evade of three. Okay. Okay. So. Um, probably, probably uh, press my luck here. I'll go ahead and advance. Fight again. Two dice, leader bonus. Hmm. I got one. Alright. So. The two dice, leader check. Almost. And then uh, Parmenio, two dice back with leader. One hit. Two hits. Oh yeah, see the mediums. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I hate when we mix up the the heavies and the mediums in the same combat. All right, here's the one die for Mithridates. Oh, Mithridates falls. And that. It's the game. It's the game. Ah, uh, got greedy. <laughs> no, I don't. I mean, he got those cav. You might, you know. Two. Got greedy. Oh. Uh, you know, I was. Hoping to get lucky there, you know, either force you out of the river or, or God forbid, score two hits on you with uh, taking, you know, one in three chance on each die there. Right. So. Yeah, but uh, still, still, you took out the companions in in, um, in just piece, piece by piece, took them apart. That was great. Uh, and you took down a major hoplite, heavy hoplite. So that's uh, that's nothing to sneeze at for for your disparate forces that are scattered all over. Um, okay, cool. Let's uh, we'll set it up and we will do this once again. Right, back. You ready to, to have some fun with with Alexander and the companions? Let's see. And 
it is all yours. Good luck. Thanks. The, oh, well, my. the, the classic opening, yes. <laughs> always, always a good one. Classic. So we'll do that. All right. We'll target that light cavalry coming out of the river with two dice. Um, light cavalry actually can't evade. Uh, that this is true, but with two dice, I figure it's worth worth uh, sticking around. Okay. And one hit. One hit. We'll give you two back into the river. Nothing. And these uh, infantry will chuck some spears across the way. Yeah, force nice. retreat. We shall order our light troops. Mm. That would have been a handy card. For me in the last turn. Sure. Last right. game. And I can only do four. Hmm. Okay. We'll do these four. That's better. But I can do this one over here. One, two, three, yes. Yeah. All right, so this bowman will take a shot at your medium cav with one die. Okay. And get nothing. All right, that is all for the movement and shooting. We'll activate three units in our center, in those three. We'll move, fire, move. Mm. Great card. We'll do those four. So we'll go... Um, firing now. This one did not move, so he gets two dice. Yep, two mm -hmm. shots at the medium cav. Done. Um, this auxilia has nothing, but the light cavalry does. You will take a single shot at your medium there with one die. Scoring your retreat. And then the light bows here. Uh, go after your bows. They moved, so one die. And get nothing. Alright, second part to the moving. Again. Uh, there. There. Yeah, that's good. Over to you. Okay, a light infantry attacking your heavy cavalry from the river. Okay. Two dice. Nothing. Okay, two dice back. Our retreat, which I'll ignore. Okay. Follow up with that infantry, same target. Nothing. Okay. Two dice back. Nothing. And the medium cavalry charging up down the river bank with three dice now. 
a hit and a retreat. Advance, move one, and battle again. I got the heavy cavalry. Try to run them down. Three more dice. Nice. Two hits. Totally ineffective. A mounted charge. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's right. He's on he's on he's mounted too. And spicy. Alright. Um, so the light calves here. Against your medium. You'll get three dice now. Mm. One hit. One hit. Three dice to retaliate. Mm. Two hits. Okay. The other light cav. Three dice. And score a retreat. Does the river stop a retreat? It does not. Okay. Back across the river with you. They will advance. Move one hex. Battle again. This time mm. we get three dice into the river. Cause you do. Because of the card, right? Alright, two dice. Or, I mean three. But here we go. Nothing. Two dice to retaliate. Mm. One hit. Okay. With three deities over here. We'll go after your light calf with three dice plus leader bonus. And get one hit. One hit. Two dice to retaliate. Leader bonus. Do get a score hit. Okay. And give me a leader check. There you go. Okay. Um, that is all for the charge. That seemed to be a very effective strategy. I'm going to employ the same stratagem. So I activate my cavalry. Which I three. Alexander and the Greek companions will attack the Thraites and his cavalry. Okay. So you are in a river. Mm -hmm. So I'll probably be throwing two dice. Mounted charge brings that up to three. Alexander with them gives me four. That is correct. Okay. Four dice with leader bonus. That will do. Now you may throw one die. There you go. Three of these falls. Woof. Gonna, gonna get it all back from last week. Alexander and the companions will advance into the river. They will press the attack. So, again, their base of two, plus one, plus one, gives them four against the auxilia. Hmm. With leader bonus, Alexander scores three hits! <laughs> Alright, so we give you two back. Oh, a hit! You may take the retreat if you wish. Um. No, I'm here to cause trouble. Okay. So, <laughs> do you aim to misbehave? Uh, I suppose I do. All right, here's two dice. 
leader check. Okay. That's all. This is terrible. But we'll see what we can do. We'll darken the sky. Mm -hmm. I had a better setup a moment ago, but I I it was partially messed up by my own stupidity and by Alexander being frisky. Uh so these are the only two that I think can shoot at the moment. Yeah, we got look at Alvary is too close. Yep. So we'll start over here my left to yours volley one loose ah hit and retreat they retreat two because they're they dead. retreat two yeah they do even better mm-hmm all right um and they do not have a shot on alexander in the river sadly so this one, oops. attack, target, Let's see if we can get some horse flesh. Uh, first volley, loose, retreat. Second volley, loose, another retreat. works. Back to you. Ah, well, this is quite the conundrum here. What do I do? Three units on the right. Those three. Ptolemy and his auxilia will attack. Okay. Eastern auxilia. So two dice with leader bonus. Mm -hmm. Alexander knocking on the door. And I'll use the leader prerogative to get out of the river. Over here. Alexander and the Greek companions have to run down your bowmen. Who will evade. They will evade. So three dice with Alexander brings it up to four. And uh, no hits. Good evade. Mm -hmm. Two in the center. Hold on for grim death here. Mm. All right. So over here, Spithrides, Spithridates, two dice plus leader bonus, a retreat. Certainly forcing them back across the river. Um, then over here, same. As leader, you have options. I do. I wish not to exercise that, that advance. Don't want to be okay. trapped in the river. Um, all right, so two dice plus leader on this one. Two hits. All right. Two hits to retaliate. Or two dice. Nothing. And two leaders. Okay. All right. Back to you. What are some light troops around? Those six. Mm. 
Okay. Light infantry will throw a spear at the bowman. One die. <laughs> you are in an errant bowman. Without scoffing at the Macedonian wading through the water. Smug in his Persian superiority. And his long bow, never thinking. A simple spear could strike him down. It's like, it's like throwing falafel at us. I mean, come on. Alright. Meanwhile, over here. Light infantry will battle out of the water. An attempt to skewer the cavalry. We shall stand. Okay. Two dice. Two dice. Two dice back. Hit. Okay. The light cavalry will charge in the river, give a hoot, and throw a spear at Spithraites and miss. Ptolemy will direct his auxilia against those medium troops. Three dice with leader bonus. Uh, nothing. A retreat, should you wish to take it. Um, I will take it. Okay. Interesting. Um, and... As you retreat, now Xelia will throw a spear at your backs and miss. Coordinated attack. And the bowman will stand still and shoot. We'll shoot at these lights in the water. Two dice. And scoring your retreat. Spithraides will attack the cavalry in the water. Okay. You have an option if you wish. I do, but I will not evade. Okay, well, it's two dice with leader bonus. One hit. Two dice to retaliate. With leader bonus, a retreat. You don't have to take it. I know. <laughs> All right, and the biggie here. Taking a shot. Right. Um. They will evade. Okay. Four dice. Triangles only. One hit. Yeah. Okay. Here's the leader check. Two dice. Ooh. Winged him. All right. Uh, that is all for that. Heavy hoplites attacking light cavalry out of the river. Limited to the two dice. Do you wish to evade? I shall evade. Okay. Two dice. Leader bonuses don't count. Do those cross swords. I have no heavy troops. So I will order a unit of my choice. Spithrades uh. go uh. there. We'll attack the light cav in the water. And they will evade, so two dice with green circles only. That was a good card. It was a good card. Alright. Parmenio and his hoplites will attack 
on land for Paradise. Oop, leader bonus. Scoring two hits and a possible retreat. Okay. Um, we'll take the retreat. Give me a leader check. Oh, almost. Activate two units on the left. Uh, Rosacious first. We'll attack there. Four dice and leader bonus. Okay. Two hits. There's the leader check for Ptolemy. He's okay. Okay, three dice coming back. A hit and a leader bon and a leader hit. Okay. For two plus the retreat if you want. Um yeah, we will. And two dice, leader check. All right. And then the bowmen. Let's see if they can't finish them off. Two dice. Aim true. Nothing. All right. It is back to you. Well, that was a good card. <laughs> I'll order two units on the right. Well, you know which two. Yes, I do. Uh, um, totally me. We'll go. All right, the companions try to steal the glory. Three dice with Alexander, probably up to four. <gasps> Glory is to be had! Oh my, my, my. What have the companions done? Let's say, as they you say... Young, have they jeopardized their young king needlessly? A slobber knocker! Alright, so four dice back. Leader bonus. Two retreats. Mm. They can well, ignore... The both companions of them. can yeah. ignore flag, as can Alexander. Okay. So I will ignore both of those. And incense Ptolemy, seeing the recklessness of the companions, will throw his auxilia into the fray and attempt to save his young king. Three dice with leader bonus. Oh, man. That was well done. I was really, ugh, all you need to do is hold out just once more. One more day. Alright, here, go do leader check. He's fine. Rosacious would flee down to there. Uh, and of course, what did I just draw? The most critical card ever. Oh, I thought I, you see, you got my hopes up with the companions choking. Eh, well, good game. So, man, <laughs> so first game, 6-3. Uh, you did really well with the Persians, as it, as it turns out. And then second game, 6-0. Man, what what a match. So you take the series with 9-6. to six. Uh, Good job. Thanks. What do we think of this one? Um... It certainly feels a little overwhelming for the Persians, but there are certainly a lot of mitigating circumstances. That river is a big barrier. Um, you know, so I tried to use that to my advantage to give myself a, a chance to regroup a bit. I probably fell back a little bit too far with the, the Lear units. Probably should have up, up a hex closer. Because um, I had some cards I could have used to 
attack you as you came out of the river. This is this was this was a an interesting puzzle uh, on both sides. Really, it's it's uh, as the Macedonians. How do you get the, across the river effectively without getting whittled down? And then as the Persians, the 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 leader, the poor leadership doesn't really seem to come into play because all the leader units are clumped together anyway. So it's not like they're inspiring any nearby units because the only other nearby units are all their leader units. Yeah, I agree with that. This one was a tough one for... Um... <sighs> And, and I, I like I like I didn't have any leadership cards in my play. Right. Uh, I I don't believe I had one this whole time, but I did have a whole slew of uh, of trap cards. You know, I had uh, I had well, not so much the center and the right, but I had two line command cards, and I was really trying to set up the line command. Uh, you know, effectively just moving some of those. My goal was to, and that's where I was torn, was do I use the lights to get them up there with that dark in the sky and just pepper you with stuff and, and use those, or do I use them to build that line in the rear so that I could bring them all forward a couple of times? And as it as it turns out, the, the former won out. I, I wanted to do that, but then I screwed up the, the most effective shots. Um, so, yeah, these line command cards were just death. They were duds for me because I have no battlefield cohesion. And the more I tried to do it, that's just, that's killing time for the Persians. And I, I have that one line command in, in my game, which is why I tried to bring that bottom line together. Right. But I mean, that, that was really a waste of moves, honestly. I mean, it, that line didn't really ever do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it is the total, it is the last gasp. If if they see the leaders fall and things are going really poorly, then at least you have something, some tools that you can make a final stand with. Um, right. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't think this one's necessarily unbalanced uh, against the Persians. I just think it's a little more challenging for the Persian player. And, like, with any of the scenarios, you, you need a certain amount of helpful cards. I, I just got too many tactical cards rather than section cards this particular game to make any kind of effective uh, stand. But yes, the river the river is great. Um, I, I like that you can kind of bounce, especially with getting some of those retreats. I You'd come in, I'd bounce you out. You know, attacking yeah, the flanks yeah. and the wings. Um, so yeah, that if I can slow you down, or if the Persian can slow you down across that river, whether you attack with the two dice or not, but once you got those heavy the hoplites over, that that was it. It was just that between that and Alexander, you know, making his brave charge on the right flank. Yep. Yep. And, and I had a I had a double time waiting. Yeah, to, I figured I, you did. Got those heavies. Yeah. Across the river, but by the time I got them over there, there wasn't. There. Yeah, I was once once Mithridates fell. I thought, mm, okay, I, I'm I'm going to try to cobble some last gasp effort here and try to pick off a couple of weaklings. But that did not, that clearly didn't go to plan. And then when you were knocking on the door at that last one, it's it was just a matter of how long, how long can I delay the inevitable? But good good game. Good game tonight. Yeah. And um hey, we you we got a new uh I got a new series going on. Um Oh, yeah. yeah, we uh, for for anyone who's watching this, and of course, probably enjoy the Command and Color series. Uh, so the one we're doing now, myself and Rob Doan are doing the Tricorn one, which you and I saw uh, a while back when we when we did sort of the exhibition match on that one. But uh, he he asked me if we could if we could play through one of them. It was either that or Napoleonics, and I I wanted to try one that I I was not as familiar with because I enjoy the American Revolution more than the, the, the Napoleonics. So I said, let's do that. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're just starting at the very beginning, and just as, as they are listed in the scenario books, there's not nearly as many of them. There's probably only one or two expansions for that so far. But uh, yeah, we've we've done a we've done one match back to back so far, and uh, that's that's going really well. So uh, watch for those videos if you're enjoying these. Check those out too. And when do those videos go up? Um, I'm gonna try to do them um, on Wednesday. We play on Wednesdays, so that gives me a week, and I'm gonna try to uh, get the f the first one out here any day now. So uh, come by, 
like and subscribe that one, like and subscribe this one, and more than anything, comment on this one, because uh, the last couple weeks, especially, uh, you know, I figured it out. Whenever you do story time, we got a lot more comments, because they like your story time. Mine are kind of perfunctory. No. Yes. You just know how to tell a good historical... You can spin a historical yarn with the best of them. Hmm. But, uh, well, speaking of spinning yarns, uh, I think uh, we're going to continue to follow the adventures of uh, young Alexander here next week. Yes, I think for at least the next four or five scenarios as he starts making his way through uh, Asia Minor and into South Asia proper, all the way to the, to the Indus Valley, uh, we're going to see this young upstart make a name for himself. And clearly, with you playing him... Uh, He's going to be a force to be reckoned with, it would seem. So yeah, stick around for the next few weeks, and we'll see the trials and tribulations of young Alexander. All right. Thanks for the game. Thank you. And uh, we will see you here next week. Uh, Same time, same channel. Have a good one.